Okay, I think the chat's actually working now, but we'll find out in a couple minutes here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we'll find out in a couple minutes if it's working now, but I, I think it is. Hopefully the old stream isn't still running and people are still waiting there. Uh, shit. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Hey, Patrick. I can see chat now. So the first stream was just bugged or something. Because there was definitely chat and it just wasn't letting me see it. Hey, bye-bye. Hey, Grug. Hey, Bash Gordon. Yeah, sorry about the first stream, guys. I don't know what was going on, but I couldn't see chat at all. And I kept messing with it and nothing worked. Anywho, so tomorrow we're going to start a new series. Uh, I'm probably going to get maybe a week's worth of videos. Then I'm going to try to figure out something else I can do to kill time until June. And then when June starts... Hot tubs is perfect for your own though. I just want to say I live in Hawaii, man. There's no bad time for a hot tub. If you do it when it's too hot, you get dehydrated though. Like, if, if you use the hot tub when it's too hot, you get dehydrated. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to spend about a week talking about next off season and some of the priorities we should have. But then um, after that, I don't know what we're going to do on the channel for a little while because obviously nothing's really going to be happening. Maybe we extend Metcalf. But that's obviously going to be a breaking news thing anyway. So in terms of like scheduled more in-depth, thoughtful content. I don't know what we're going to be doing. Hey, Jackson, what's up? I think somebody in the last stream asked me if they, if, if like viewers bought it for me, would I get a Seahawks ta tattoo? No. I don't want a tattoo. Oh, nice, Bash. That's pretty cool. In-depth in looks at some of the promising UDFAs? I could, but the thing is, probably only, like, one UDFA is going to make the team, and then maybe two more are going to make practice squad, probably. It's such a time investment, and there's so little to find for some of these guys, right? Like, you try to go in-depth on... Um, shoot, I don't know. What's the name of the... Like the cornerback we signed today. There's just not enough. Oh, Patrick, Hanniger might be gone next year. He's a free agent and we didn't re-up him. The only thing that might keep him in town is that he didn't have a good year this year, so he might stay try for on a one-year deal so he can get paid next the next year. I, I don't know. I mean, the thing to remember about the Mariners, we haven't even played Oakland yet. And Oakland's the team in our division that is clearly going to be trash. We might be able to farm wins against Oakland. Maybe even Texas, too. Texas doesn't look very good overall. Uh, we should have swept them when we did play them. So getting all these games out of the way against Houston is going to help. Thank you, Bash. I appreciate it. It's just some goofy thing that I do every now and then on this channel, and I hadn't done it in a few months. So I thought tonight would be a good night. I couldn't do a full video game stream tonight anyway, because my show was on. And once my show was over, I was like, well, tonight would be a pretty good night to use the hot tub, because... Um, 
Yeah. By the way, for those of you who don't know that I stream video games on Twitch now, you should look in the video description or the stream description. Click on my Twitch URL and hit the follow button so you can keep up. Um, Barry Soritoro, thank you for the member message. Hot Dambi, is the oil show next? Uh, I'm not trying to get in trouble. I don't know. It, it could, like, like, it depends on the weather, right? But I don't know when is the next time I'm going to be able to do this. Because as it gets warmer, I'm going to be less motivated to use the hot tub. I like to use the hot tub after I play the Wii because of uh, it's a good way to uh, chill out because sometimes playing the Wii can feel like a workout. Not really tonight because I played passive sports mostly. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Patrick. I don't know what the answer is for the bullpen either because Sadler is not coming back. And, um, well, Swanson will be back in like 12 games or something, but... I don't know, man. Hey, DM. Like, we might need to make a trade for a bullpen guy. I don't know who we trade, but we might need to pick up a guy like we did with Castillo. Which Wii Sport is your favorite? Um, on the original Wii Sports, I like baseball the best. No. I take that back. I like tennis the best. In Wii Sports Resort, I like basketball and I like sword play. How did you like The Last of Us 2? I mean, it's a good game, Pretentious Cameron. It's a good game. The gameplay is great. The graphics are great. The, the attention to detail is phenomenal. Um, it's just... The, the dialogue is good. It, it's just... There are significant portions of the game that are really, really boring. It, it turns into a walking simulator for... I mean, I'd say there's at least four hours of walking simulator crap in that game. Yeah, music. In fact, I'm going to be mentioning him in the near future. But yeah, you're right, Quentin Nelson. Um, Quentin Nelson is a free agent. And Indy, they might want to save their money. You never know. I don't think they will. I'm sure they're going to keep him. But they already paid Ryan Kelly a ton of money. So they can't keep everybody. Do you think Kobe Bryant is a starter week one? Uh, I'm going to say yes. But there are so many things that can happen at cornerback that nothing's going to surprise me. But anyway. Um, no, The Last of Us 2. Like, I'd say there are a good three or four hours in that game that is just walking simulator. And the story, I mean, it has its moments. But overall, it, it's... it's uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, a crap show. And the thing is, it spent so much time telling that story. Like, you have walking simulator parts of that game that are like... I feel like I've played 20 minutes, 30 minutes at a time, and I don't even see an enemy. All I'm doing is walking around looking at stuff. And it's... Hey, Tagman, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while, Tagman. How's it going? I know you came to a lot of my video game streams, but I moved those over to Twitch, so... I haven't seen you around very much, but welcome. Yeah, 
Yeah, Roger. Ah, sorry to hear that, Jackman. Good luck. Yeah, so... Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm not going to go crazy like all the other content creators on YouTube. I'm just doing the hot tub thing. I kind of do it as a joke, but I also kind of do it just to chill. I do it as a joke because, as you guys know, Twitch is full of women who sit in hot tubs on stream all day and get tens of thousands of dollars. And it's like... You know, I wish life was that easy for me. Alright, see you later, Patrick. But anyway. Yeah. Like, I've been watching, uh... Wings of Redemption videos on YouTube lately. There's a guy who went off the deep end. Yeah, Kenneth Walker, he's probably going to be our best rookie. I, I don't think he's going to be the best player from the rookie class overall. I think Cross will be better, but Walker is going to be a big rookie year, I think. Okay, see you later, Bash, Gordon. Kind of a cool name, by the way. I like that. By the way, if you're chilling in here, please hit the like button. It helps with the stream. It helps with engagement. Do you think Walker has a good chance at Offensive Rookie of the Year? Yeah. Except for the fact that he's not a quarterback. And quarterbacks always win Rookie of the Year, pretty much. <clears throat> Who's your guy at quarterback in the 2023 draft? Oh, it's Will Levis right now. It's Will Levis 100%. <clears throat> That's not even hard, man. Will Levis. Yeah, exactly, Tackman. The people who didn't like our draft only have one reason for disliking it. It's they, they we didn't get a quarterback. Like 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 we're even ready for a quarterback right now. Really, we're 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 not. We have two rookies starting to tackle. I got a lot of QB stuff to grind through, but I like Levis. He's my guy. Uh, I'm not sure about Bryce Young, the gorilla. He's an Alabama quarterback which gives him a massive advantage over everybody else because he gets surrounded by, like, five-star talent everywhere. Stroud's numbers are so good, and he is so young that it's hard to ignore him, but I, I don't know. I'm not trusting him either. To me, the number one QB in this draft is Will Levis. Thoughts on Liam Ryan signing? I don't think too much of it, Rasmussen. Um, we already have too many corners, so his odds of making the roster or the practice squad are basically nil, so I can't think too much of it right now. Yeah, that's true. There's only one guaranteed starting rookie this year at quarterback, and it's Pickett. <clears throat> I, yeah, Tackman, I actually kind of liked Skylar Thompson. I thought he was like a really, really poor man's Russ. When we still had Russ, I wanted to draft Skylar as our backup, actually. I thought that would have been a good idea. The, the Miami guy is actually really interesting. K.J. Jefferson from Arkansas is interesting to me. Cam Ward, Wazoo, interesting. A lot of interesting guys. One thing I noticed is that there are a lot of uh, former USC quarterbacks who are going to be in the draft next year, like Slovis and J.T. Daniels. Yeah, Anthony Richardson's another good one, but he hasn't really had a good season yet. He's got to play well this year to prove it. 
Yeah, I'm not a big fan of any of the USC quarterbacks, but it's kind of interesting to me that they're all... What do you mean, where am I? I'm in my hot tub. Yeah, Tyler Van Dyke, I'm going to have to look into more. With a name like that, you know he's going to be a bust, though. There's no way any quarterback named Van Dyke is going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious, by the way. I actually have to look into Van Dyke. Yeah, I'm outside. And I'm not in the cold. This is a hot tub, dude. You understand that hot tubs, like help mitigate the cold right that's the point i need to put more water in this thing i have to get down low here does anyone have the exact time right now by the way can anybody tell me what time it is on pacific coast the west coast Cameron Ward from WSU is very interesting, but I don't want to crown him yet. 12.15? Alright, cool. Thank you. Alright, I'll keep the stream going for a little while. A little bit more. No, I don't live in Seattle. Thank you, Barry. Alright. I mean, I, I, I mean, I work from home and all, but I do have work tomorrow, so... I do live in Washington State, yeah. How'd you and Brandon meet? I mean, we haven't met in real life. Um, I found his channel because a lot of my viewers are share. A lot of my viewers are his viewers. And he was so clearly different from people like Norb Cam. Uh, kinda just tags. I'm a software developer. What, whether or not it involves a website changes kind of all the time. Grant Wells from Virginia Tech. Not familiar with him. Like he's different than Norb Cam. He's even different than uh, Floki, and I like Floki. But I feel like. Um, yeah, Brandon was just bringing a slightly different perspective. What do you think about the hop, hawk blogger guys? I mean, and this is me saying this, by the way. I think they're too emotional. I don't think they say a whole lot that's all that compelling. Have I played Weddle? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. The Hawk Blogger guys... Like, I think Evan Hill's an idiot. I know that. Most of them seem like they don't... I don't know. I think they just like talking football. Which is not radically different from me, but I just feel like they get a little too emotional about things. Well, I mean, Michael, I, he's right to not want Cam Newton, because Cam Newton's terrible now, but not for that reason. I go to Rainier's games sometimes. I mean, like, like I've started a, a Twitter account now, right? I am purposefully trying to keep almost, I mean, maybe not all pol political stuff, but pretty much all political stuff I'm not 
doing on that Twitter. I'm not posting on that Twitter account. I I I don't know why that's that unreasonable. And then, you know, like I can't follow people like Evan Hill ever because of that garbage that pollutes their Twitter feed at all time. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the XFL. Well, Michael, he doesn't have uh, Twitter yet, but he's he, he's gaining it. I actually, I follow Corbin Smith. He almost never tweets about politics ever. Oh, Jake Hayner, Tackman. I heard a little bit about him. Right now, he's not projected. He's projected to be like a fourth round pick, but that could change. I have a huge math test tomorrow, and I'm probably going to fail. Uh, cheat off the guy sitting next to you. I'm kidding, by the way. I mean, I don't really like Corbin Smith because he's kind of a sycophant. Sycophant. But. I don't have a problem following him because he does post Seahawks like news and, and updates and stuff. I don't dis I don't have an issue with him. I just don't think he's the guy to go to if you want to have a real conversation about the Seahawks. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, Jake Hayner is interesting. There was actually a, some people thought he was going to transfer to UW because we got um, uh, what's his name, the coach. If you could go to any Hawks game this year for free, which would you go to? I guess I'd go to the Denver game. It's going to be the most lit. I'm not expecting us to win, but uh, I'm not going to a game expecting us to win this year. Like, wins are probably going to be... I mean, I said 7-10, and 10, but honestly, if Drew Locke is who we think he is, it could easily be like 5 wins. Would you boo Wilson? Uh, no, I don't need to do that. <laughs> well, Dylan, that is a huge L. I don't know what to tell you about that one. I'm sorry to hear that. That is a massive L. That's like something out of The Simpsons. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. I'm going to call off and work on September 12th. Why? Thoughts on the Phoenix Suns collapse yesterday? It, embarrassing, humiliating. Like, what What in the world? How does that happen at home, man? Oh, I see what you're saying, Tackman. I see. Okay. So it's going to be the day after... Wait, so 9-11 is going to be a Sunday... Uh, so the first Sunday slate of the year is going to be on 9-11. That's going to remind me of that tragedy. What a terrible date for the first football games of the year. Reminds me of that tragedy. Yeah, Devin Booker was terrible. Any chance Levi Lewis surprises us in camp, a Lone Star? I, I seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt it. He's too small. And we got to remember, he went undrafted in a quarterback class that was really, really weak. Yeah, DM, so it would seem so. I'm probably going to lose subscribers. I think there are some people, like, there are always a few who are subscribed to me, and then they see something like this, and they just get weirded out, and they unsub. They usually come back, but some people don't have a sense of humor. I don't know. Um... Well, Kaepernick is definitely worse than Gino and Locke at this point. So, getting him because you think he's better doesn't make any sense. 
if you want to get him because you want to go 0 and 17 and you want a quarterback who's going to be so bad it's going to be impossible for you to uh, win a game then I guess that makes sense but if you want to do that just let DJ Dallas run Wildcat or something Yeah, Tagman and they they CP3 is making buku bucks for the next three years, so they're kind of stuck. I think Schneider has already basically said we're not doing the Kaepernick thing. Oh yeah, the Stanford quarterback. I did look at him a little bit, Tagman. Isn't he like six six? There's one quarterback in this class who's six six. He's a giant. I'm always intrigued by that kind of stuff, personally. There's also this one quarterback for uh, Coastal Carolina that's getting hype. He's going to be like the next Carson Wentz or something. Played at a, you know, insignificant school, but goes high in the draft. You got Warriors or Mavs? Uh, I'm probably going to go Warriors. Would I be pissed if I got cap? cap? I, I, I wouldn't like it. I don't know if I'd be pissed. It would basically be, you know, full tank, tank commander, right? Uh, Walker's impact should be pretty immediate. He might not play a ton at for the first couple games, but I think he'll make plays. It'll be maybe like Metcalf. Metcalf, at first, he wasn't doing a ton, but he was making like one or two big plays every game. And then as the season went on, he became a guy who was good for several big plays every game, pretty much. Uh, I'm not big on Bryce, Dakota. He's going to have to prove it to me this year. And it's going to be hard for him to do that because he's an Alabama quarterback. I'm I'm much more into guys like Will Levis. Even Anthony Richardson, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, Joaquin. I don't know who's winning the finals. Right now, the Celtics are probably the favorite. Oh, yeah, McCollum. There we go. That's the guy I was thinking of. Coastal Carolina quarterback. He's interesting because that's a school that doesn't produce NFL-level talent, typically. Um, if we need to trade up to get Levis, I would. But the thing is, you don't have to because there are going to be a lot of really good quarterbacks in this draft. You could be like, okay, we didn't get Levis, but we can get K.J. Jefferson. We can get Cam Ward. We can get um, Van Dyke. We can get Anthony Richardson. So you definitely don't have to. All right, guys, it's getting late. I'm probably got to wrap this up. So we went for over half an hour combined, although I could only read the chat for the last half hour-ish. But uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. I appreciate it. We uh, have fun around here sometimes been a while since I've done one of these. Um, there are going to be a video in the morning. Uh, maybe a video in the afternoon. Who knows? We'll see if something happens. And uh, probably going to see me on Twitch doing Ghost of Tsushima. So if you want to watch me play Ghost of Tsushima and you're not subbed, to, I mean, following me on Twitch, you should do something about that. And I uh, hope to see you there. But either way, I will see you guys soon.